We have more details right here regarding the incoming update for Call of Dragons 1.0.15 Brave New World. This is in game if you want to read along or check it out for yourself or you can hang out with me and we can go through it here together. This is coming to us on 420. It's going to be an update that takes a couple of hours to, to get done. It's saying three hours, but don't worry. There will be special gifts in the store once you've completed. I love how they do this just a little bit for our uh, not being able to play. So here is what's going to be coming in the update. As you guys know, on this channel, I bring you guides, walkthroughs, new player stuff, live wars that are going on. And of course, what's going on in the updates, patch notes, and my feelings on that. So the first thing, a smoother route to prosperity. Add the new division migration system, which will be rolled out onto servers once they've completed two seasons. Remember, we spoke about this when uh, this uh, update was first announced. Now we have more details on it. So you have to complete two seasons, which is 140 days in the game before you can change servers. This is important to know. Also, there's got to be some kind of mechanic there so that you can't be having played for a year in server number one or however long that server was around and then bring your you know 100 million power account to a 140 year day server and then dominate everyone so there's got to be some type of parameters there please note that every server has its limit you won't be able to migrate to servers that have reached that limit you can begin the next season playing alongside other lords in your new server all right so obviously there's a certain number of people that could be put in each server we added a new item or well call of dragons added a new item reserve lesions use this item on the lesion training screen to greatly increase the number of units produced by your current training efforts this is nice it's going to be able to speed up it's essentially i'm assuming uh, a new speed up mechanic for training troops which is very nice improve display for information regarding sources of artifact emblems an added feature to skip directly to the forge of light event when the event begins the go button displayed next to the information regarding the system of m source of the emblem will take you directly to the event all right quality of life stuff is always nice not groundbreaking but nice adjusted the auger stone progress for season one the resurgence feature will be unlocked once chapter one faith above all has been completed remember if you want to know anything about the seasons well first of all i did put out a video explaining seasons to you but also you can go to the auger stone it shows you everything that happens at the end of a season rewards you get what happens with resetting of certain things inside of the game as well all that info is there for you so i think from this point number one here the smoother route to prosperity i think the server migration is the biggest thing and this is actually a great thing for the game because let's say we're here in server 32 which is by the way an amazing server if you want to join us we are the blood family i'm in the blood moon alliance let's say in a year this server dies if i have my account which i've spent possibly thousands of dollars on at that point in time and the server's dead i'm stuck my account's worthless and i can't do anything with it right so being able to take it to a, a different server that maybe has more going on is something that i value very much and i think all players should it's a good it's good for the longevity of the game number two is an even richer combat experience improved behemoth combat previously only alliance leaders and officers could summon behemoths and there's also no ability to control their actions in the update we'll be able to control the behemoths actions within range of the behemoths targets building so this is nice as well controlling their actions it makes more fun for the behemoth battles which are already uh, a lot of fun added a new officer title Beastmaster. we spoke about this in the previous video as well uh, a lot of this stuff is kind of repeat from what we discussed last time hopefully towards the end we get some new things uh improved display of information regarding the map adding a new unit type icon this type this unit type icon will display the unit types of all legions currently marching so then you kind of know what's out there what you're about to uh what you're about to see or what's going to be you know in front of you. you 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 know what your marches are which is nice added a merit distribution table for battle reports involving rallied ar ar armies or garrisoned armies the merit distribution button will be located next to the kill rewards button on the battle reports and will allow you to see the number of merits gained by each player whose legions joined the army also improved the share feature for battle reports you can now share multiple battle reports directly in the chat window again we saw this already cool stuff and improved alliance system adding the ability to directly zoom in on the uh, alliance leaders location 
So if you just can't find your alliance leader, which sometimes you're going to want to, they do uh, lead the alliance after all, you'll be able to easier find them. Adjusted rules for replacing officers is going to be a 15 minute cooldown. This is going to do something regarding jumping clans and things like that to engage in other battles and adjusting rules for building alliance core fortresses they must be built on alliance affiliated regions the region where the lead leader's city is located more beautiful tamaris improved spring warden building visuals to better match the function's design improved visuals of technologies on the screen to help better uh, master your research your level of progress in each technology has been made more visible and key technologies have been more prominent so which is nice for people that don't really know what to upgrade next this is cool all right we got uh you could re-watch the narrative as well we already discussed this and the ability to skip the hero dialogues that you've already seen which is nice because some people just don't like to waste time on that kind of thing other improvements bakshi has been added to gold chests and can be summoned by opening gold chests all right and that's really cool because bakshi I, you know what i don't even think bakshi is one that i have yet let's go see right here I'm just clicking on through. There we go. Going to be able to get this bad boy from chests, which is really nice. Oh, you can't see him. Here we go. Let me let me bring you over here. Being able to get him from golden chests will be awesome. If you guys don't know, I personally have a large number of gold chests that I'm waiting to open. Right here. 108. Literally passed that thing five times. 108 of them. So I would say I have good chances of unlocking him with that many keys and uh, many more to come the game has been great updates have been great this was kind of an update on the update because a lot of this information was in the previous patch notes regarding this update but it is confirmed that that information that stuff is coming to the game i'm looking forward to the migration system not that i'm looking to move because i'm not but the ability for people to move for those of you that have been watching my channel and have been telling me echo i want to join you in battle it's really nice now that you guys can come over to the server after your two seasons have been completed and then you could participate in it with me because as it sat right now before the update you're on the server you're stuck in the server you really can't go anywhere anywhere so as long as our server which is a very active one i have to say lots of content creators myself chis school part of this server there's a lot of uh activity going on here plus we have a lot of whales in this server but as long as there's space, people can join us. Again, we are Server 32, and we are the Blood Family Alliance. I'm personally in Blood Moon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and are excited for the update as I am. Make sure you subscribe for walkthroughs, guides, live events, and update details. I'll see you guys in the next one.